Hey guys, I want to very quickly share um, my meal planner. Um, it's a meal planning bullet journal. Um, I haven't found someone, maybe I didn't dig um, for long enough, but I haven't found anyone sharing their completely dedicated meal planning bullet journal. So I decided that maybe it's my turn. So I literally just set this up. So um, a lot of the uh, pages are still waiting to be filled out. But this is my basic setup. I'm using the Leuchtung um, B6 Plus. Here's the index page. And um, I have my key here. Um, just for some of the abbreviations, the number I put in a box is the number of people that will be eating the meals. Some abbreviations for stuff that I need to pick up from the shop or, oh, that's my cat. Um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> stuff I need to pick up from the shop, stuff that we receive from, um, our grocery and produce a subscription, um, called Imperfect Foods Boxes. And stuff that are in the freezer or currently um, that will be picked up from a frozen food section and if there's something to buy I'll denote it with a dot if it's something that's already um, purchased or something that we already have I'll turn the dot into a check mark and then for stuff that we already used um, I will circle the check so here I just have some simple spreads for um, favorite meals, easy meals, there are four slots for this, six slots for this, and quick meals, six slots, and then healthy meals, four slots. I have never decorated a bullet journal um, in my life, so if, if this looks bad, just, um, just keep that in mind. And next up, I have my current spices. Um, here I have space for the name of the spice. And then this bar is the percentage of the spice used. So if it's a brand new bottle, it would be a blank bar. If I've used half of it, I will shade 50% of the bar. That's kind of how it works. And the expiration date to just give me an idea of how old the spices are. Um, and then I need to go through my pantry. I haven't done this um, in a while, so I denoted space for canned foods, starches, sauces, things that don't go bad um, immediately, and other stuff. Um, okay, now this is my weekly spread. Um, for each week, I have four lunches that I would plan for and one that I would just kind of wing it <laughs> and for dinner I usually so I we usually eat out at least once or twice a week so I'm trying to cut down on that and really just plan six dinners and leave one day for eating out and I don't cook with the recipe so all I need to write down is just a short description or the name of the dish and the ingredients that will go into it and on the opposite side of the um, page I have what we need um, this week to make this happen and so I divide it up by protein veggies starches and others and um, I will just make sure that everything I list here is used up um, in on the left side and for example on Wednesday we already made chicken breast and potato roast and so I circled off the chicken breast we don't have any chicken breast left and then um, on this page I have the beverages that I'll be uh, having besides water obviously and so um, we need to make some iced coffee. I have three cans of kombucha, and if I finish having one of them, I'll just um, shade in that circle. And then 
also for snacks I just have a list of snacks that I'll be having for the week and so far I have all of them so they're all check marks and on this side I thought that you know some little reflections will work really well so I just have a whole page dedicated on what worked um, having an easy meal worked or um, having my groceries delivered from Imperfect Foods boxes worked um, that kind of stuff and then what didn't work like I didn't plan for enough protein or um, I didn't check the expiration date on uh, say like some pasta and they expired that kind of stuff so um, the space is really just for um, learning experience purposes so I haven't um, decorated or set up the rest of it because um, I literally like I said just came up with this uh, system and I'm very excited to see how this works out I think it's exactly what I need and um, just uh, just very quickly this cover is made by me a long time ago and um, it's it's that golden brown um, front pocket with this is actually a very very thin veg tan leather that I dyed burgundy myself and you can kind of tell that it has like a decent amount of structure even though it's a very very thin leather I just love the color but I'm I think I'm ready for something more more um, spring looking this is definitely like a fall winter kind of cover so yeah let me know if you have any suggestions for um, a spring folio that fits the Leuchtturm B6 plus size um, and thanks for watching